How's it going everybody? It is your boy the one and only Chaos Gamer and yes, we are here with some My Hero Academia Ultra Impact but today we are going to be playing some PvP casually, you know, just talking to you guys and you know, just saying stuff because I just wanted to make this video for the fact that yes, we finally, after I think it was two months maybe or a month, maybe it was shorter than that, I don't really remember the lifespan of it but we went from 800 subscribers to 900 freaking subscribers, we are so close to that 100, not 100,000, I wish we were close to 100,000, we are so close to that 1,000 goal, I feel like we could see it right there before our eyes, because this is not me who's hitting 1,000 subs, it's all of us together combined in this one channel that are going to be hitting that goal of 1,000 subscribers, so you know, for some of you OGs, you should comment down below, congratulations for that when it actually happens, but if you still want to congratulate me for the 900 subs, that's also greatly appreciated as well, but with that, Let's not waste any more time. Let's blow this shit right up. And ladies and gentlemen, let us just play some casual PvP and see what kind of enemies we are going up against. Now, I'm going to try to go up against people close to my rank and power. Not people that are way stronger than me because that's a setup for utter failure. I am going to be in the expert rank soon. Mind you, I have not been playing that much of Ultra Arena. I've been doing more of the VE Tower because now I have more of a team where I can actually grind up the VE Towers. I can show you guys real quick actually before we start. No little showcase, little showcase. So I did all the difficulties for this. I don't know if it shows you. Damn, I don't think it shows you. Nah, it doesn't show you, but I've done, I, I finished the Toka one. We could just look at the scores right here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the Toka one? I think it's way more back. But yeah, I just finished doing the Toka one. That is really hard. I'm not going to lie, though. But with the Bakugo on my team at the final stage, those twices, they not spawning until I beat the shit out of... I said Toka or Toga? No, Toga, okay. I thought I said Toka for a second, another character. But yeah, those twices, they ain't standing a chance against my final team. Like, it's just go away, don't come back, let me beat your boss, and we could just move on with our lives peacefully. I wish <laughs> I wish back then when I recorded it for the first time that I actually got to beat it on 170,000 power. Because if for you OGs, if you guys remember when I took that on for the first time, I think I had to go to 81,000 power just to beat that damn stage. That was utterly difficult for me to beat. Okay, so this is the main team that we are going up against. If we do up, go up against the Midoriya, I do want to show a setup that I've been using as of recently. Mind you, it is risky to use a setup because it's either you win or lose, but I've been having good progress of winning against the Midoriya. But okay. Ikuze? Nah, you're dead, man. Okay, so he's using the red Kirishima, not much of a threat. But mind you, he does have the green Hawks. And the blue Todoroki, which is very good. I wonder what people are saying about Todoroki now. Now that Midoriya and Bakugo are a thing. Like, is he good still? Because mind you, he is more of a support, if anything. But I want to know because people were saying that blue Shoto Todoroki from War Hill Mission was like one of the best characters in the game, which I could agree with. All right, let's pop off. Hit him with a one. Hit him with a two. And then my boy, how much damage are we doing? Mm. I thought that would do more, I'm not going to lie. But mind you, this is Bakugo's first turn. Okay, he did start off with the cover. Now we're going to be attacking him for 3 million years. Ah, damn. I actually messed up, though. I should have started with this. So I could get the plus ultra boost and then plus ultra the Kirishima. Because now... Ah, hold on. No, she only... She doesn't give it to Bakugo. Shit. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, he's going to live. Okay. So what are we going to do? How is this going to work? Okay, he has the counter. Now we're all going to attack him. Counter, yep. Counter part two. Counter the trilogy as soon as her. Yep. Okay, but now we do have a plus ultra. I think Bakugo could crit and finish him off for free. That's what I'm praying on right now. Bakugo is the fastest guy on my team. Because he's almost maxed out. Like, I'm telling you, all I need is the last part to make him level 100. But I gotta, ever since I got the three URs that I'm gonna have to showcase soon, I had to stop with the stars on him and put it on the other characters. That's why I don't really max out my characters like that because there's other characters that I'm working on that I want them to be on the similar level, like on the 7th piece board or the 8th piece board. So that's why I don't really max out characters like that. Like recently, I just got this Hawks up to his 8th board, which I finished the Awakening Mistress for. I think I said that in my last video, but I just finished with this Hawks. So the fact... Oh my god, I just heard her heal. Damn it, we need my AoE. Okay, we got an AoE. But yeah, I pulled the Blue Midoriya, and then for the next video, I pulled the Fumikage and the Froppy after. So yeah, it's just going to be a while before this box is going to be short off at 100% power. Because this Peace Board is done, it's just the Ability Board that needs to be done. And then I could throw up the Showcase. Even though I just did throw up the Showcase as well for 100%, absolutely stunning. But I want to say this as well, you don't need Bakugo at 100% to pop off. 
You really don't need him. As long as you can make him level 85, you should be more than enough to kill people for free because Bakugo builds up the damage. It's just that when you max him out, his damage builds up even faster. So this Hawk should be dead this turn. And then Uraka has a counter. So I'm hopefully we are not attacking the Uraka this turn. Okay, so you're dead. Have a nice flight. What are we attacking? Okay, we're attacking Bakugo. Good, 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 good. Because I want to save the plus. Oh, no. Why is Bakugo attacking her, though? That's weird. Okay, so we'll do this right here. Who's going... Okay, he's only going to attack one enemy, though. Okay. That's not going to do anything to our boy, but this is going to do something to you. Have a nice life. How much damage? 59k. You... You were never going to survive anyways, even if I had a normal one without critting. Alright, so that's our first victory in Ultra Arena. Let's go into our second match, and let's see if we can find somebody a little bit difficult. Because, mind you, I was 30,000 more power than him. So it was going to be obvious that I was going to win. Mind you, if he did have the Remedoria, though, that could have changed the dynamic of the situation. Uh, no too strong. No too strong. No too strong. No too strong. <laughs> no too strong. Uh, no too strong. Wait, I just realized that guy had the Medoya profile picture, but he didn't have Medoya on his team. That's weird. Why doesn't he have Medoya on his team? Can we do this one? Um, damn, he has the Jito. I feel like people underrate Jito a lot. She's so good in PvP. She's super good. Like the, like our new present Mike. He, 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 he be cooking too. Okay, we got this one, this one. This one's a little bit weaker. Mind you, he does have the purple Bakugo as well. That has to be our first target as soon as we get rid of the AoE for Hawks. Okay. All right, so first thing we're going to do is activate Hawks' AoE. Then we're going to activate Haro's AoE. And then I'm going to single attack... But damn. No, 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 no. No, we gotta attack Bakugo first. No, we gotta attack. Bakugo has to go. Like, it's not even a, a question. Bakugo has to go. Okay, so we did a little bit of good damage right there. I wish you could see the level of other teams as well. Like, on the top right, it tells you what the level of their characters are. Oh, uh, poor Hawks got frozen. But that's whatever. As long as Bakugo didn't get frozen, that's all I care about. Oh, uh, we could do this. Damn, I need to do this to go first. We can do this. We can do this right here. Let's heal. How do I need you to heal? Then we'll attack the Bakugo. Then hopefully the AoE crits. No, but we did get the blind on two characters. But mind you, it is a low chance of blinding, so it doesn't really come out as often. I wish it was a medium chance where you did a certain effect. Okay, so we'll do this now. Bakugo's going first. You are dead, my good sir. So have a nice life. Go somewhere else with your shit. That's what you like to see right there. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is that a dead hawk right there? Almost a dead hawk. But his hawk is going off. But I think that's a dead hotter right there. No, no, no. She still lives. Yes, because of her last stand ability. Oh, my God. Last stand comes in so close when they use plus ultras. So that means he can live longer. Oh, he died. Oh, yeah. He used his plus ultra. Oh, I'm so sorry, Hado. I hyped you up for no reason at all. I gaslit Hado. No. Oh, damn, I forget that's for the turn. All right, all right. What are we gonna do? We can do this and this. Uh, he's dodged. No, but the AoE, the AoE. Okay, we'll do this right here. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's see if Bakugo could one shot the overhaul. Can he? Oh my god, he did. That's what you love to see, man. That's what you love to see. Okay, now we got red SR Lamillion. Not the new free to play one, because that's the purple one. This is just a normal Lamillion that you get on a banner. I don't think he has the evasion, though. One shot? No, he had the damage reduction. Okay, let's see. Is he going to have the evasion? No, he doesn't. But he did get a power up. That's not going to matter because, uh, buddy, go to your grace, though. Under. You like going under so much, stay under for the rest of your life. And that's our second match of victory right there. Not a perfect, though. I, I wish it was, but hey, man, you got to take what you can take because he was a little bit stronger than us at the same time as well. Literally comes down to strategy when somebody's stronger than you. Look, this guy has the Medoya. Ah, uh, no. And he's stronger than me. Ah, uh, no. Okay, this guy has the Midoriya, but he's weaker. Okay, so let's try out the strategy that I have been trying out, which is using the Kirishima to get all the attacks in, getting the evasion, and then after that, with the zero damage that Kirishima gets, hopefully we could just live for three turns. You have to make Midoriya low as fast as possible. He has to be your primary target. Not even the purple Bakugo is a target for this one. It has to be the red, I was going to say blue Midoriya, the red Midoriya. All right, let's go. I don't care. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Hopefully the strat works on video, man. But if you have a better strat with dealing with this Red Midoriya, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know a better strat for this. 
Um, okay, we could do... Yeah, there's no there's no point in using Hawks as normal. It's not gonna do anything. Oh, but they're faster? Oh my god. Okay, that's a problem that they're faster. Oh, but Hawks, it should give us the speed up needed. Okay, a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage right there. Oh my god, he is tanky. His Midoriya is tanky. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, uh... Alright, let's see how we're gonna do this. Come on, Bakugo, please! Okay, once we hit him, that should be persistence right there, activated. Okay, he's powering up. He has his last stand ability as well. Okay. Okay, that's the persistence right there. That's the persistence. Oh my god, he, you see how much damage he did to Kirishima? Kirishima's almost dead! Oh my god! You just hate to see it, but okay, we need to do this so we can get the dodge on Hawks. We need to do this, and we can't kill anybody because if we kill anybody, that's just gonna give him more power. Oh my god, who is dying? I'm sorry, Kirishima. I tried. I tried. Who is he attacking? Okay, okay, we got the dodge. We got the dodge. You see, we're safe right there. Alright, good stuff right there. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, this is the strategy part two. If Kirishima fails us, we have our girl Uraka with the healing. So we should be fine right there as well. And you guys are probably saying, why is he wasting Bakugo's action skills? Well, Bakugo's action skills, he builds up on damage every time he does use them as well. Whether he crits or doesn't crit. So see, now that he's dead, we can focus on the other characters as well. Now we can focus on our main threat right there, which is the purple Bakugo. Who's probably been building up for a minute now. Okay, so let's do this right here. But they are gonna go first. That's the sucky part right there. Okay, but we did dodge. Nice. Ah, but he is dead. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. Relax, relax. Okay. Purple Bakugo is gone. Now it should just be the two characters left, which is Lamilli and Shoto Todoroki. No, it's not. I'm surprised that he didn't put Purple Bakugo in the front. The other one, this one right here, because he lowers defense. So if he would have used him in the front slot, then use the other Bakugo, they could have killed like three slots in one turn. This duo is crazy. And I wish I had this lineup. Oh my god. Just give me the two Bakugos. Give me these two guys and the yellow one. That's all I'm missing. To complete my Bakugo set. Okay, so let's do this to build up plus Ultra with Shoto Todoroki. Nice. Oh, never mind. We can just kill the buff for that. Oh my god. 44k on an AoE. Oh my god. Okay, you are dead this turn though, however. Because Bakugo's gonna finish you off. How much damage? I didn't get to see the damage. I think that was like 40k or 30k. But it did say damage reduction, yeah, so he didn't crit. Ah, oh, but that's my strategy on how to defeat Midoriya. It's been working. That's how it's been working. But there was one instance where I did lose because of that. So if we could find another Midoriya to fight, that would be absolutely perfect. Okay, no, we didn't find another Midoriya to fight, but I will take this fight right here. So let's go. And let us see if we can have another win streak going for us. Because right now we are on a three win streak. Damn, we've been seeing a lot of Kirishima. I mean, mind you, Kirishima is a good character to have on your team. Like, why wouldn't you have Kirishima on your team? I mean, I don't have him because I have, like, AoE. I'm more of an AoE type of guy. But if it is with Midoriya, I will put Kirishima on my team, as you guys just saw. All right, let's do this to get rid of the dodge. Let's throw the power with you. And then it's the... No, I messed up. I keep on forgetting that I'm supposed to use Bakugo's single attack. I always forget to do that because I get too hyper with the AoE. I got to stop doing that. I got to keep reminding myself. Okay, so we did get rid of the damage reduction, but we still can't attack anybody else. So we can do this right here. Ah, no, no, I don't want to waste it. That, that'll be such a waste right there. Okay, so what is he going to do? The counter. Ah, but I should have done it because now I'm just going to do like zero damage, however. Yeah, that did nothing to him. I wish there was a character they released soon that could go through, um, what is it, cover? What is it called where you get zero damage? I forgot what it's called because it's not cover. Cover is when they... Covers when they make the attacks go to them. I, I don't know what it's called when they make the damage go to zero. I forgot what that is. Okay, so we are going to get the heal. That's why it's perfect to get the heal right here. Then we're going to activate both our plus ultras. And then we're going to activate the plus ultra with Haro on the next turn. Come on. Kill him. Yes! You see what I'm talking about? And he had damage reduction. But damn it, his back is going off now. That's probably death. Oh, she lived. Yes! Alright, let's kill him right there. I thought that was his Hawks that was going. That's why I skipped it. I only care about my Hawks. Uh, let's do the AoE right here so we can get the boost of damage. And then on the next turn, we'll go for that Bakugo and finish him off once and for all. Hopefully, she's not activating her healing, though. And, of course, she's activating her healing. Damn it. That means they got damage reduction. Which Bakugo doesn't care about because he always crits. But 
for the other characters, that's going to be very annoying to deal with. Okay, let's do it this time right. So, I'm going to activate Endeavor. Go first. 8,000. That sucks. But 26k critical hit. You see that? And now this Baku goes dead this turn. Now Baku goes dead. We just got to get rid of that damn last stand and we got him. Oh my god! We're dead. <laughs> what in the fuck? Yo, that's crazy. It just hits so different when another Bakugo does it to you. Oh my god. Let me know if that's happened to you before. That's never, ever happened to me. Because I always focus my priority on that stupid Bakugo, man. Crazy. I call him stupid on the other team, but it's my team. It's broken. Oh my god, you truly hate to see it right there, folks. Live action coverage of Chaos Gamer losing a match. Wow. Oh my god. He cooked this no, 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 no. That guy is way stronger than me. We cannot do that. Okay, we'll do this one last match. Mind you, this guy has Midori in the back as well. So the strategy might not work this time. So we're gonna have to wrap shit up like as fast as possible. Also, all his characters are not awakened as well. I think he's really banking on the Midoriya to clutch it and win it for him. Oh, I almost clicked the wrong thing as well. Okay, so we'll make this the final match. I didn't know that five matches were going to be so long. Because I don't want to make this video too long. Some people don't really like long videos like that. So, trying to keep it under 20 to 30 minutes. All right, let's go. Bakugo. Okay, so first thing I do want to... We have to get rid of the Red Kirishima. Like, that's obligatory right here. All right, that should do it. Okay. No way of... Ah. Oh. You see, it's like if I mess up on one thing, I'm going to mess up on the other thing. I was supposed to hit this damn freaking AoE. But I didn't do that. Okay, we dodge. That sucks. The dodge have been wasted now. So we have to wait until our girl comes in. Okay, let's try to get this Midori in here as fast as possible. I hit him with the one. I hit him with the two. I've been getting better at this. I've been practicing a lot. I got real better at the counters now. I know when to activate it. It's when you got to look at their face. When you see their face for that one second, you got to activate it. Watch. If I get the chance to use it again, I'll show you guys. Damn, so thoroughly activated his plus ultra right there. Can we be faster than him? Oh, definitely we could be faster than him. What the hell? That's not even a question. She's not activating anything. Okay, okay. But next turn, we do have to go for that Hado because she is going to have a plus ultra. Come on, Baku. Come on, come on, come on. 26k. Okay, good damage right there. Now, if Hawks could wrap it up, that will be absolutely stunning right here. Come on, Hawks. Oh, but we did get frozen. Damn, so that means he's going to be stunned for this turn. So we can't do normal. But our boy Kirishima is going off right there. Fun fact though, with that plus ultra, I got a lot of views with this plus ultra. A lot of people love that fight from season four. Uh, do I wait? Is anybody coming in the next turn? Whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, wait. I have confidence. Whoa, wait, wait. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, good counter right there. Counter. All right. Okay, he's still alive. He's still alive, but I don't think he's gonna live next turn. Okay, now we have to activate. Oh, am I clicking him? Okay, now we got to do the strat. Come on, Bakugo. Okay, we got him low. The persistence is activated. But now he has the boost and damage as well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Pray to God that we get the freeze. And also, now that we have the dodge, we are dodging him for one turn. He cannot attack all of us. Freeze? No, we didn't get the freeze. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, but she did get rid of the dodge. One more turn. We have to live one more turn. No, I'm saving the plus ultra for next turn. Actually, no. Oh, my God. Please don't attack. Oh, my God. He's dead. We lost. We lost. We lost. That's it. She lived? Oh, my God. She lived. Oh, we're screwed. He's going to hit me and watch on me. Oh, my God. Oh, we, we barely died. Oh, my God. We lived on one HP. Oh, that's crazy. We lived on one HP and survived the final. That's a perfect way to end it. I couldn't ask a better way to end off a video than that. Oh my God. But with that, that is where we're going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but it's always greatly appreciated. Also subscribe again. Thank you for the 900 subs. I duly I truly, I truly appreciate the fact that we hit that milestone again, so close to a thousand. And for this 900 sub goal, we are going to be live streaming on the 23rd of June of Sonic Generation. So stay tuned for that. As soon as I wake up, I'm gonna wash myself, and then we're gonna just live stream some Sonic Origins as long as I possibly can. And I'm gonna try to beat the whole game in a certain amount of days. So again, if you want to chill with me on a live stream, because a lot of you do like that. 
join the live stream on the 23rd of June. Say that on your calendar. But with that, I'll see ya when I see ya. Peace. Okay, I bet nobody heard that. <laughs>